Hello world! My name's Will, and speaking of world, it looks like it's finally been cancelled. That's right, good old 2020 decided to pull the plug on this whole existing thing, and now the only cherishable relics left are these weird mutated toilet paper rolls and PS4s that still have PT installed. I need to rethink my definition of the word cherishable. On August 12th, 2014, a free horror game titled PT was released exclusively for the PlayStation 4. It was announced earlier that day at the Gamescom 2014 press conference and was hyped as the world's first interactive teaser. The game was simple, would go around an endless loop of an L-shaped house while solving puzzles to cause slight or dramatic changes to each loop. It was terrifying, intriguing, and extremely cryptic. So cryptic, in fact, that the lead developer expected it to take weeks for players to finish the game, but it was solved in just a few hours after release. The ending revealed that PT was actually the playable teaser for the next entry in the beloved Silent Hill franchise, Silent Hills. It was to be directed by Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima and Oscar winning film director Guillermo del Toro, with Walking Dead actor Norman Reedus playing the main character. This was a big deal. The Silent Hill franchise had been struggling since the original development team, Team Silent, disbanded in the early 2000s. This demo alone was a breath of fresh air for the franchise, and the thought of a full game in this style was amazing. And did I mention this game was scary? The game starts off simple enough, exit the basement into a seemingly ordinary house with a radio broadcast about a father that brutally murdered his entire family. Like I said, ordinary. You then solve some puzzles like trying to get this door open and that door open until you get locked in the bathroom with this eraser head fetus thing all while this horrifying ghost lady named Lisa stalks you around the house until she straight up gets in your face and eats you. When I was a baby, Aunt Lisa always told me, you're so adorable I could just eat you up. And then she did. Also, there's a talking bag. So. You got something you want to say to me, bag? Oh, I know you got secrets up there. But why won't you talk to me? Huh? It's not like I ever did anything to you. I haven't even used you for the garbage yet. You still smell like... pure vanilla. Sadly, a falling out between Hideo Kojima and publisher Konami occurred shortly after PT's launch. On April 29th, 2015, Konami pulled PT from the PlayStation Store, and Silent Hills was officially cancelled. Konami even made it so you couldn't re-download the game if it wasn't already installed on your system. The cancellation of Silent Hills was absolutely devastating, and even though PT was just a demo, it's still my favorite horror game of all time. And even though the original is no longer available for download, there have been many fan remakes and reimaginings, and today we're going to take a look at some of them. Also for this list, I'm only going to take a look at games set in the PT house. While games like Layers of Fear were heavily influenced by PT, they're set in a completely different universe, so they don't count for this video. The first game on this list is Unreal PT, a near-perfect fan remake made in Unreal Engine 4. Other than a few missing animations here and there, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one remake. It also runs at 60fps compared to the original game's 30. There's even a VR mode with full motion controller support. How bad can it be? One hour later. It's f***ing terrifying! The immersion is absolutely insane, and seeing Lisa in a 3D space is just a thing of nightmares. Surely this must be the definitive way to play PT, right? R right First off, VR mode is not well optimized at all. I ran it on an RTX 2080 Ti graphics card and still had frame drops. Last year I tried playing it on a GTX 1080 and it was nearly unplayable. There aren't any graphic settings to tweak, so it's game over if you don't have the best gaming rig. Oh, and don't get me started on the smooth turning. VR games usually have snap turning, where camera movements are adjusted in 90 degree intervals to prevent nausea. But here the camera is way too smooth, and I'm not sure if the shaking I experienced after playing this was from pure terror or the poorly optimized camera. There's also some bugs with picking up these photo pieces later in the game. Pick up, dammit! If you have the hardware and don't mind the quirks, I highly recommend playing Unreal PT in VR. Sure, the non-VR mode's a lot more polished, but either way, it's a really good substitute to the original. Though this store scare is a lot less scary when Lisa's not actually... there. Next up, we have PT Silent Memories. This one's actually an RPG Maker game that uses sound effects from both PT and the original PS1 Silent Hill game for menus, which is a really neat touch. This is a very faithful adaptation of PT as an RPG, but I encountered a game-breaking bug that wouldn't let me finish the final puzzle. Get one laugh, two laughs, three laughs, now I go to the phone. Uh, there's another demake of PT for the original Game Boy titled Project Trap. 
This one's also an RPG like Silent Memories, but this one's a little different. Still got the same L-shaped hallway with a similar story, though some of the characters and plot lines are different. One thing I really like about this game is that it has multiple endings. I only got two of them, so I'll probably check this one out again to see if there are any more. Now there are only two games left on this list, and this is where things get a little weird. This next one's actually a demake of Peachy for the... Macintosh Hypercard? What? Yeah, this game was reimagined as a point and click game for the Hypercard, and it's actually really well made. It only uses a few puzzles from the original game, and therefore is much shorter than the original, but it's still a really clever adaptation that's faithful to the source material. It even emulates a Macintosh virtual machine. That's really all I got to say about this one since it's so short. It's completely unnecessary, but I love it simply for how strange it is. Next up is Q-Tips. Next up is Cuties. Wait, no. Next up is Q-T. There we go. This game's called Q-T because he uses cute characters in a PT-esque house. I don't know about this one. Seeing these cute characters in a familiar, horrifying house just feels off. I'm always expecting something to jump out at me, but it's exactly as advertised from start to finish, a cute version of PT. This one tends to get even more cryptic than the original, with a bunch of hidden rooms and secrets that feel pretty cheap compared to PT's puzzles. It's not bad, but this just isn't my cup of tea. And there you have it, some of the greatest and strangest fan remakes of PT out there. Sure, the original's still the greatest way to play, but Unreal PT is definitely a close second. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm sick of this whole quarantine thing, so I think I'm gonna go outside and protest. So it looks like I'm stuck inside an infinite loop of my room. I don't see anything out of the ordinary like the loops in PT. I mean, I got this giant poster on my wall telling me to stay the f inside and it's written in blood. But dear God, what happened to toilet paper?